What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy here, King Tundra, aka the Real Tundra. Now, I want to say thank you all so much for the amount of support that you guys have been giving, whether it be commenting or liking. And as usual, we have a like goal of 10 likes as I'm close to reaching 100 subscribers. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel as I'm going to be posting more content, not just not just video content but more content revolving around state of the case so make sure you guys stay up to date turn on your post notifications and let's get into it all right so now that we're back let's talk about the behemoth the tank of state of decay the ram of state of decay and if you know anything about tank you know tank is from left for dead the big guy no neck bullet holes in his body and Ram is the big guy from Dead Island with the big straight jacket and the humongous legs but we're not talking about them we're talking about this universe the State of Decay universe and the big dog on top is this big behemoth of a man we call Juggernaut now Juggernaut is not just any old typical special infected. No, he is the big boss, the big daddy, the guy who if you get too close with in close combat and he grabs you, he's slamming you into the ground. <laughs> he's he's gonna ground and pound like crazy. And actually, even if you attempt to run him over or anything, if you're trying if you're trying to run him over, let me just say this you yourself are gonna bounce right off of him i mean that big gut of his when you running into him in your vehicle that big gut is gonna push you back it's gonna push you back however if you are standing in the car and he managed to take a nice big swing at you well that car is again it's gonna go flying not on the same level as tank though because when tank slaps a car that thing goes flying but when juggernaut is slapping a vehicle that vehicle is gonna go back a few feet and he will charge at you if necessary which again would knock it back a few feet so let's talk about the the pros and cons of dealing with the juggernaut well the pros of it is he's not nowhere near as worse as dealing with the feral because i've already stated in my last video that dealing with a feral especially in lethal nightmare it is a pain you guys it, it, it's a pain because no one wants to deal with a you know a group of them especially on lethal or nightmare you know like i said juggernaut he's good but not on the same level as pharaoh because the pharaoh is a fleet on site character okay he's the minato of state of decay but as we have juggernaut here you can maneuver around him in so many different ways than one for example, let's say you are on foot and you come across him. You know, his radius of uh, awareness is not on the same level as Pharaoh. As Pharaoh's radius is very high, whereas Juggernaut's, it is not. You you have to be within a close proximity to alert this man. And even if you want to just play around with him, you know, tease him a little bit. There's not really much he can do because he's a big, slow character. So you can maneuver around this guy with relative ease, with very relative ease, I might say. You can even do the same thing on Lethal and Nightmare. You can literally maneuver around this man. And I believe on Lethal and Nightmare, I haven't really crossed, came across too many juggernauts in a group. Maybe I might come across two you know not together but around the same area but i haven't came across um you know like two or three of them in the same area so i can't really tell you how they are on nightmare because i do my best to avoid them at all costs but not only that actually killing a juggernaut is actually easy and i'm sorry you guys if i do sound like i'm getting sick that's because i am getting sick again but Coming across and killing a juggernaut is very easily because first, like I've already stated, they are extremely slow. Extremely slow. So when they go to try to grab you, you can easily dodge it with relative ease. Not only dodge it, but you can also outrun them. 
if there is a wall or a fence, you guys can easily climb it. Easily climb the fence. And it's it's a quick way to escape it because not only that, I mean, the guy is just going to simply... <laughs> he's going to simply just take his precious time getting over that wall. So you do by all means have time to literally escape you can do so many things like i recently had a person comment on my bloater video if you guys haven't seen it check that out um this guy named stewart 267 says personally i have a hatred for the juggernaut as i have built a community that survived multiple maps back in the day across all the original difficulties then lethal zone got released and let's just say after several attacks on my base by mostly high threat enemies my group was wilted down to 5 out of 12 which hurt enough and I was ready to pack up and move to another area. Little did I know there would be 3 juggernauts waiting to meet my beaten down group wiping them out within minutes barely taking down one juggernaut with them. What hurts most is the fact that I kept as many survivors alive for real life years still stings to think about. That just goes to show you guys how crazy it is when you are dealing with the juggernaut. And recently I put up a video where I titled it, he broke in and you can like literally see this juggernaut climbing over my fence, breaking into him, but we took him down uh, relative ease on my community. And I wasn't playing on Nightmare Lethal. I was just playing on, um, I believe green or standard or whatever and normally what I like to play on is I like to play on dread because it can give me a combination of more high zombies versus low zombies but when he broke in it kind of surprised me and then I had another video where the juggernaut literally appeared right before me as I was checking out a an empty lot so that's again that just goes to show you how crazy a juggernaut can be but not only that I had another person comment on my last video of the Pharaoh where he said most of my characters die with a Pharaoh than a Juggernaut, which is understandable because as I said, a Juggernaut, he's relatively slow. However, a Pharaoh is relatively fast, high sense, keen abilities. But then again, on Lethal and Nightmare, you do not, and I repeat, you do not want to get into a battle with a juggernaut on lethal or a nightmare because as i read the first guy's comment on my bloater video he's just he's relatively annoying you do not under any circumstances want to have a juggernaut within your base so let's talk about how can you defeat a juggernaut well if you have um what is it I cannot believe it. I just forgot what it's called. You guys have to forgive me. I've been live streaming Dead Island 2 for probably days now, like days. So I haven't been on Steady Decay. <laughs> but you can literally mask yourself. Okay, you can literally get, what is it? it's not gas grenades, whatever. But yes, you can mask yourself in these things. You can walk around. Or if not, if you guys don't want to do that, then you guys can literally stealth yourself you know crouch around do whatever you can but just stay away from them and as far as lethal a nightmare i don't think i would take the chance on even hitting a juggernaut if you're in your base the last thing you want to do is to antagonize the one special infected who can literally ruin your day i know pharaoh can ruin your day and you don't want to be anywhere near this dude but if you're at your base or near your base and you decide, hey, I'm going to antagonize the juggernaut. I'm going to shoot the juggernaut, have him come over to my base and basically destroy him. That's basically what you're doing when you do that. And I most definitely wouldn't recommend that to you because of the simple fact that if you're playing on lethal or nightmare, he's more difficult to take down like his his HP level is a lot more higher. 
So you're going to need a lot more weapons. And I can tell you personally, you're probably going to have some of your, you're probably going to have some people in your community seriously, seriously hurt. If not hurt, then you're probably going to lose a couple of members of your community, especially if there is more than one juggernaut around your base. I wouldn't do it. And technically on Lethal and Nightmare, there is a numerous amount of juggernauts that will surround your base. So it's not wise to antagonize them. It's best to just crouch, stealth walk around them, leave them alone. On you can you can do just fine on standard green dread. You can do just fine, but as far as nightmare and lethal, just don't. <laughs> just don't because the juggernaut on lethal and nightmare he is actually not the person you want to antagonize if you guys are gonna just lose your base that's that's my opinion like i said feral and bloated they just do not compare to juggernaut on lethal and nightmare yes when you see a feral it is flea on sight yes when you're driving down the highway there's going to be numerous amount of bloaters there's going to be a, a horde of bloaters there's going to be two three ferals but juggernaut is the guy that's going to do something to you not only to you he's going to do something to your community to the point where you're going to regret ever antagonizing him because you guys know just as well as i know rebuilding a community puts you at a state of dread it's like Man, I don't even want to play this anymore. But you're kind of going to have to to rebuild. And I'm sure you can rebuild. But in my opinion, Juggernaut on Lethal and Nightmare, leave him alone. Stealth Walk is your best friend. If you got the, you know, the perk where you can stealth run, which is crouch, but you walking a lot of faster, do that. But do not antagonize him. If, you, if he's in an area and you're trying to loot, hey go to another place or it's gonna be gg you're gonna have to take that ground and pound <laughs> but that's it for the video guys let me know down in a comment section below what do you think of juggernaut also let me know your stories down below in the comment section that you have with the juggernaut and has he actually ever ruined your community have you actually ever lost anyone to the juggernaut because i know personally i have and i've also know i personally lost people to the pharaoh but i have not lost many people more than the juggernaut which is how i know on lethal and nightmares to stay away from these guys but also don't forget to drop a like as i have a like goal of 10 likes we're almost close to reaching that 100 mark subscribers so also so also just make sure that you guys do like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll be sure to read your comments and respond to you guys as quickly as I can. Until then, I will see you all in the next video.